So, this is what we're starting out with, folks. We're gonna start out with this, well, worn out freaking jig hat. It's the only one I had. Have some on order coming in. And then we have these night crawlers. We're gonna start out with these guys. Night crawlers, hey, they're still alive. It's amazing. It's amazing. Pretty sure I've had this bucket of night crawlers for way too long, probably a couple months. Can't believe they haven't died yet, if I'm being completely honest. I don't do a lot of uh, night crawler fishing. So, with what I have, I usually have enough to just last me. Like I was saying in the intro, I feel like the fish should be biting though, because they have not had much food. I mean, little do I know, they could be having a lot of food when the water's down, but when I get to thinking about it, which was my first mistake, uh, you would think they are hungry, because when there's not current coming, ripping down here, food's not getting washed in, so they should be hungry. If I get this bait in front of something today, I think they will bite. But the challenge is getting the bait in front of something and not losing a jig head in a tree. Did I mention it was hot? I mean, jeez. There we go. First one. These guys are freaking fragile fish. Not bad. Not bad. A little white sucker. These suckers are really fragile, so we're not going to keep them out of the water. Hey, it's a fish. Out of the creek, I told you if you get a bait in front of these fish today, they should eat. Get them back in. A couple minutes and we caught one. I figured I'd come over here where there's a little current. They should be sitting here waiting for food. There we go, we got another one already. Nope, just came right off. We might find the whole pool of white suckers, boys. Might have just found the pool. There we go. There's another one. Another white sucker. Another white sucker, folks. Sorry, we got some people swimming in the background. I'm not trying to be rude here. Another white sucker. Hey, bud. Those things are so fragile. As you guys can see, barely just got a hook in it and he's already started to bleed. We didn't the water too long, they die too. Two, we've hooked like three or four of them, but tiny guys can't get a hook set in them. They are some worm thieves. That thing was like a full worm when I put it on. You gotta be kidding me. Little ones suck. The big ones you can catch, keep pecking it from the side. Just ripping your bait off, not even freaking committing for the hook. There we go. Got him that time. Saw him, I saw him eat that one. What's up, bud? What's up, buddy? Easy. I'm not trying to hurt you guys. Not bad, guys. Just white suckers in here for right now. Shiners? What do, what do you think that is? I'm thinking that's white socket to me. Could be a creek chub or a shiner, but... I'm just going to let buddy go here. Oh, oh, okay, buddy. Okay. There you go. Go that way. See ya. That's enough, guys. I've caught three freaking white suckers or creek chubs, whatever you guys want to call them. I call them white suckers. Probably wrong. Like I said, it won't be the first time I'm wrong. But we're just going to not fish anymore. Obviously, the boy has stopped. Nothing over here. And I about fished that whole hole over there. I had a couple on. I lost them. But that's okay. That's what happens. But enough rambling on. Like I said, I'm not going to bore you guys. I have an interesting episode for you guys on Josh's end of this video. So we're going to send it over to Josh right now. So you guys sit back and enjoy. Like I said, send it over to Josh. Sure? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you got yourself a bass, a smallie. Would have been a nice rock bass. First fish on this rod. Yeah, there you go. Not too bad the fish either. There you go. Swing him up to me. It's probably a legal smallie, yeah. Real close if not. Good fish, dude. Good fish. Hooked him right in the nose. Perfect hook set. All 
All right, so we are on a mission to catch lunch today. We are trying to do a catch, clean, and cook. There's a nice little uh, spot over at the launch, some park-style grills. And if we can get us a nice little rock bass, we're going to fillet it up, and the kids are going to eat rock bass for lunch. And I will eat some hot dogs. You got worms baited up and ready? Okay. So we're getting into rock bass territory, so... We will take whatever the first decent fish we get, put it in the live well so we have lunch, and then we'll see if we can get a rock bass. Decent perch right there. I don't know if they're lunch. Yeah, actually pretty good perch. Let's see if we can, let's see if we can pick one of those up for a sure thing here. Oh, I actually want to be in a rock bass, but it's too small. Nice perch followed him up. I was actually going for the perch. This guy's just a little too small, I think. I don't know if, yeah, I don't know if we'll be able to get lunch out of, for both of you out of this guy. Little too little. They are chunky little things, but. Oh, don't see the boat, don't see the boat. Got him that time. That was a good one. That's a good one. He gobbled it up. But we know we got lunch for sure now. That good suck up. Nope. We can put him back though if we get what we want. Oh, can you suck that out of there? Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Got him. There we go. Rock bass. That's a good one. That's the one you want right there. Definitely lunch size. Can I put the perch back down? Sure. There you go. Good little fillets out of that guy should be. Okay. We're at another spot here next to the launch. We're gonna go have some lunch here in a minute. We're gonna clean up that uh, rock bass. Cook it up on the little park style grill they have there. Try and smoke everybody out if we can. Um, trying to catch a, a last minute fish here before we do that. So get a few casts here. Make sure the kids are good and hungry. I'm trying to get them right up on top of those weeds. Weeds push out. You see lily pads now. This is weeds have come out here. They just kind of drop off. So try and get on top of those weeds. Crank it real slow until we get off them, and then just start cranking it hard, just like that, just like that. And as it falls off of those weeds, <clears throat> hope to get something to pick it up. I'm guessing it's a pickerel, if I had to guess. It is a pickerel too. I guess that was a good guess. Pulling our boat, Ben. It says, "You want to net this thing? Yep. Decent one. I, Best fish of the day so no, far." So. I do. All right, get your net in the water, bug. Get your net in the water before we lose this guy. Ooh, I haven't gotten a, pic a picture in a while. Get him in there. Pick it up. Pick it up. All right. That's how it's done. Just like that. You can't hold the pickerel. Just like that. Can I hold it? Alright, we got our lure out. No, so if that's you want to hold the pickerel. Go get your lip grippers, dude. Right out of that. They're in there. Oh, yeah. How big then? Is it? Is it? Yeah, they got they got a lot of blood in their mouths, the pickerel do. So, other one, bud. Other one. Can I hold it? Not to get too wrapped up in this. Can I hold That here. Easy. Nope, I'm lying. Killer. Can I hold it? And then I can I? The bees. Can I? Can I do it? Can I do it? Get any bug? Can I hold her? Sure. She's gonna be way too heavy. Now hold on. Yes, she will. There we go. Those lip grippers are pretty sweet. Let me dip it in the water. If we lose it, we lose it. But keep it wet. Keep the fish healthy. Here we go. Nice one, probably like a 20, 22 inch or something like that. Good fish. How about you guys, but I love catching pickerel. I'd much rather catch a nice pickerel than some little dinky fish all day, so. Always happy to catch nice fish. He's gone. 
That's it. All right. We got it done cooking. We got a lot of people here, so I'm trying not to film a lot. Be invasive. What do you think? It's good. Good? Makes a good lunch? Come over, cook some fresh fish? Yes, it's good. Okay. How about you? You think it's good? Good lunch? Do it again sometime? Yeah. Yeah. Do you like the rock bass or the perch better? Um, perch. Perch is better? Yeah. Okay. All right, we're going to finish up lunch and we will be back on the water. Alrighty, folks, that's going to do it for today's video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. This is going to be the one and only time you guys see me without a freaking hat on, only because I forgot it inside. And, uh, yeah, so suck in the nasty blonde hair here. Leave a like if you guys like the blonde hair. It's freaking nasty. Don't worry. The sun just freaking murks it. You look like you're an old man by the end of summer. And, yeah, like I said, it just just turns white, basically. Blonde hair, dumb, all that. Yes, sir. So I hope you guys truly enjoyed today's video. So I went out to the creek. We got on some of the white suckers or the freaking creek, creek chubs, whatever you guys want to call it. I, 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 I call them the white suckers. That's all. That's, that's how I call it. If you guys enjoyed Josh's segment, they did the freaking catch and cook on the rock bass. I missed it. I would love to taste the rock bass. That's a species I have not eaten yet. So hope you guys enjoyed his segment. Hope you guys enjoyed the content overall. And like I said, our freaking schedule has changed from Monday, Wednesday, Friday to Tuesdays and Fridays. So, if you guys are new here, my name is Kyle. I am your host. We are from upstate freaking New York. Like, up, up, upstate country. Even past, you know, New York City. Everything upstate freaking New York. We do a lot of fishing. We don't have the 10 pounders around here, but we are going on special trips. So, if you guys are new here, hit the subscribe button. We have a lot coming for you guys. Like I said, subscribe. And until freaking Tuesday, I love you guys. We're out of here. Peace.